Okay, so now we're going to look at some problems where we're just writing the equation of the hyperbola. We're not going to worry about the graph at all. Uh, however, as we've talked about in previous sessions with the parabolas and also the ellipses, the best strategy for looking at these kind of problems would be to plot the information that's given. Once we plot it, we can tell which direction the hyperbola is opening up and we'll be able to get our information for uh, A, B, and C. So let's go ahead and start by plotting these points. That's what, you, again, always the best strategy you want to do on these kind of problems. We'll start with 0, 0. Focus is going to be at negative 3, 0. We go negative 3, make a dot there. Your vertex is going to be right here at 2, comma 0. Those are your three points that were given from the preliminary information. Now, what that tells me is it tells me that the hyperbola is going to have to open up left and right because everything we see here is all going horizontally. We want to start with the base formula for a hyperbola centered at 0, 0 that uh, opens to the left and to the right. That formula, if you look at the ones from the beginning of the notes section, that's going to be this one right here. So I have, remember you have a minus sign in there because it is a hyperbola. Okay, the x comes first because it opens up uh, sideways and a squared is actually always going to come first regardless of what letter you have on top. Now let's look at the picture and analyze and see what information we were actually given. The distance from the focus to the center that's always going to be your c value. The distance from your center to the vertice that's always going to be a. So from that information that's given we can automatically tell what the A and C values are. A is going to be 2 and your C is going to be 3. Now we, we have this part, that part of the formula, we have A, but now I want to find out uh, the B squared. So in order to do that, I'm going to start with my formula for C. Remember that the, the sign inside here is always opposite the one in your formula, that's how you can keep those straight. So if it's minus here, you'll have a plus. This is the formula that you want to be using here in this section. Let's put in our information. C is 3. A squared is two, uh, A is two, so two squared plus B squared. So we can also rewrite that as four uh, plus B squared. You want to square both sides to cancel out the radical. When you square this side, you're going to get nine, so you get nine equals four plus B squared. Subtract the four from both sides, and you get a five uh, for the B squared. So now. I know what a squared should be. a squared is 2 times 2 is 4, and b squared is going to be 5. So now what I'll do is I'll just take my formula right here and just replace it with what I just found. 2 squared is going to be 4, and b squared is 5. I can go ahead and put 5 in there. So this right here inside the box, that right there is going to be the answer for this whole problem. That's the hyperbola that would have these particular characteristics.